Uh, so here's a, a try to troubleshoot uh, Xerox uh, EA. So basically, this is how, uh, uh, like, uh, I move the cartridge away, and uh, and here's what to look underneath. So you have a. Uh, this one is a stopper, so when the printer closed, it's going to go up, and the, and it's going to lock lock the print head right here, so the printer print head cannot move. If somehow it got knocked, and uh, during the shipment it got stuck here, uh, you need to unstuck it. And uh, and this piece is also got to move during the shipment. If it's in the like a, some some kind of awkward position. And uh, normally get another kind of error is a 0x69. And uh, this slot is the, the trigger for the printer lid. So when the, uh, so when the printer is closed and uh, there's a notch there's a notch actually jammed into the into this slot. So if you want to see what what's going on inside the printer, uh, you can just put a piece of uh, paper towel so the printer, Double fold the printer thing. The printer lid is closed. Uh, you can see at the resting position, this lock is going forward and got locked. Okay, let me turn this printer off. I will show you how this lock works. Okay, now you can see when it's turned off, uh, the printer has locked too. So this is when they're doing the shipment. Okay, and uh, something gets knocked off the balance here. Let's say if you're doing the shipping and the thing, uh, this thing gets stuck or somehow you get some debris falling here and uh, it stops the cartridge movement. So I'll just jam a pen here. Now I turn the printer on and uh, you can see what happened. Okay, you can hear uh, uh, you can hear a noise immediately, and you get a printer error uh, zero x uh, zero x e a. Uh, so uh, you already see the poor problem is uh, so this thing get jammed so. And another another thing can happen is uh, you may have this tube get caught right here. Okay, you see the when the tube move here, it get caught right here. And uh, if it's a tube, then if it's a tube get caught, what you do is just you move the tube further, you pull the tube a little bit shorter. From here, you just put it here, just a little bit. That'll, that'll fix it. And uh, in that case, you're gonna hear the uh, the grinding sound sooner, uh, a, a little bit later than this thing cannot move jam here. So when you shorten the tube, just make sure that uh, you when you push on the side, the printer can reach this side, and uh, you don't want to give too much or you don't want to get too little. And uh, so. Of course, it's easier if you can move uh, the print that out of the way to see what's uh, so to see what's going on underneath. So one way you can do it uh, is we will turn the power on and off. And when you see this uh, this lock, if it move, if it if it go the lock uh, the lock goes down, get it released, and uh, you unplug the power right away. So let me try to turn it off and on. And then I have my another hand on the power switch. Okay, right now, okay. So now I can move move it around and see what's underneath and uh, what seems to, seems to be a problem. You can, uh, you can see the locking is here. A second way, uh, a, a second way to move it around, uh, which is uh, you can just use your finger to push this lock down. And uh, then, then move it, and uh, you cannot move all the way because uh, there's another catch here. So, so I'm not going to use my finger. Just push it down, and now I can move it. Okay. 
Then you have another catch here, so this is how much you can move. So you using this method. So the best way is just uh, turn the power back on, uh, on and off, and then when you see the when the thing is uh, when the lock is not spring loaded, and uh, you shut the power off. Uh, another trick I have is uh, with the printer powered off, I just use my hand push this one down, and. Uh, now move this to a, like an awkward position. Now I turn the printer back on and let the printer figure it out itself. You can see it's a synchronous movement, so if you break, uh, if you uh, just break the sequence, the printer get confused. Um, but you can, but once you get a sequence right, and uh, and uh, I'll, I'll fix itself.